So welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Checkout Custom Fields plugin by Webpool. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the admin of the OpenCart uh, web store can enable the different checkout custom fields uh, that would be available to the customers at the time of checkout. So uh, before we proceed further, let me give a small gist about this uh, plugin. So basically, it allows the store owners to create custom fields for the checkout page the admin can add the custom fields or the created custom fields under the custom groups these custom groups can be added to the payment method shipping method payment details and the sh shipping details as well and uh, the customers can use these custom fields for providing additional information or requirements to the web store owner so now let's go to the uh, open cart web store front end and let's see how the customers would be able to select or provide the uh, information using the checkout custom fields that the admin has created from the admin backend panel for the module itself so here i'm at the uh, open cart web store front end as you can see so i'll be uh, logging into my account as a customer first And thereafter we can uh, basically add any of the products that we want to uh, purchase from the uh, store so the customer just, just uh, picks up the product let me tap this add to cart button all right there's some issue with that particular product so let me add this one and let's add this okay So uh, let me add this one as well. So here you can see that we have two products in the uh, cart and let me tap on the checkout link. And now you can see that the uh, under the billing details, uh, the admin has set up a custom checkout field uh, that's uh, group type A and it costs $60. So uh, the customer can uh, check this option and can enter uh, the required details for the same uh, for example I'll just start test uh, for the custom checkout fields for the open card uh, for the open card uh, web store and after entering the customized message, uh, the uh, customer can tap here on the continue button. So it all depends upon the uh, admin whether he wants to use the radio buttons uh, or anything else within the checkout process. And accordingly, he can set up the checkout custom fields on each of the steps here at the checkout uh, time. So let me tap here on the continue button. Now you see that we are on the uh, delivery details section. And here also we have a uh, checkbox uh, type of a checkout custom field we'll just select that up and uh, that would uh, bring up this uh, section uh, for the custom checkout fields so I can choose one of them and tap continue thereafter lastly we can choose the uh, flat shipping rate uh, for the uh, product and uh, we can also check the custom fields here as well so uh, that's how the customer can basically uh, provide the details to the uh, store admin by selecting the checkout uh, field and entering the uh, re uh, respective data so uh, also uh, right now for this demonstration i've just created a few groups and uh, a few uh, radio buttons uh, to show you the uh, particular workflow of this uh, plugin so let's go to the uh, delivery method let me tap continue choose this and tap continue so here you can see that the price is 500 and for the group A60, group E60 and the sub total is $600 for the same and $5 for the shipping rate. Then we can tap on the confirm order button. And the order would be placed. Now let's go to my account page and let's see how the customer can see the details for this. So I'll go to my account. view your order history 
Clicking on the view button here uh, basically uh, brings up the complete uh, details of the order that you have placed as a customer and let's scroll down and within the same here as you can see the products are listed that you have purchased uh, from the open guard store itself apart from that we can also see the groups uh, or the custom uh, checkout uh, fields that the admin had set up from the admin backend panel for the customer selection so uh, these details are also visible here under the my order history as well so uh, that was the customer's uh, flow, how the customers can basically uh, make use of the uh, checkout custom fields to provide information to the web store owner. And now let's go ahead and let's see how the admin of the uh, OpenCard web store, how he can basically set up the checkout custom fields from the admin backend panel. So for that, I'll just take you to the admin backend panel for the OpenCard platform itself. So here I'm at the backend panel for the uh, OpenCard uh, web store. So I'll just enter my username password for the admin and tap the login button to log into the backend panel uh, for the open cart itself. Now after that, after the successfully installing this particular plugin, you just need to make some initial uh, configuration settings. So for that you need to navigate through extensions, then extensions and uh, here you'll choose the extension type so for that we'll just choose modules first and that displays the complete list of uh, plugins that we have and here we can choose so uh, after navigating through the extensions extensions then selecting the modules there you will find the open card checkout custom field option uh, module itself and you need to tap here on the edit button uh, to make the configuration settings and after we uh, open that up here you can enable or disable the uh, particular functionality uh, and uh, enable would enable the feature otherwise you can keep it as disabled uh, to keep the default uh, checkout as it is then you can also set up the title uh, that would be visible to the customers for the uh, checkout custom field and uh, you can set up the sort order for the same so this was the initial configuration and then you just need to tap here on the save button and uh, now let's see what different options are there so uh, basically after you have installed and uh, you have uh, made the initial configuration you'll have this open card checkout custom field uh, on the side and side panel so if i tap on that then we have two different sub menu option one is the custom field and the other one is the custom custom group so let's go through the uh, custom field first and let's see what different options are there so on the custom uh, fields the admin can find all of the custom created fields by the admin himself and after installation basically this would be empty and uh, as soon as you start uh, creating the custom fields it would be basically uh, those would basically be uh, visible here so here you can see that the custom fields can be of type like text date date and time file radio select time text area and select so uh, from here the uh, open guard uh, admin can tap here on the add new button to create a new custom field that can be then chosen for displaying at the uh, checkout page so the status will set it as uh, enabled we'll set the custom field name whatever you want for example if you want to have uh, your age all right and then we can uh, choose the type of uh, the custom field so uh, this would be um, for example uh, we can choose it as a uh, text text area so let me uh, choose the option that's the text area now uh, under the customer groups so you can see all of the customer groups would be visible to the admin here the groups that are created and accordingly this particular uh, custom field can be assigned uh, to the uh, customers that fall within the selected customer groups here so whenever those customer group uh, customers log in uh, they'll find this particular custom field at the checkout time 
you can make this as required or not as well and you can set the sort order for the same thereafter we can tap here on the save button so you can see that uh, we have edited the custom field successfully and uh, if I go down here so you can see the custom field text uh, has been added uh, I'm sorry for that uh, here is our custom uh, field that we have created your age and that's of the type text so uh, now after we have created the custom field from here the admin basically can delete any of the created fields as well in bulk for all selected then can delete or can also delete individual individual uh, what we say as the custom fields uh, that the admin has created apart from that the uh, admin can also uh, filter out the custom fields using the custom field name and the type so for example if I choose text and if I choose custom field text and tap on the filter button there this brings up uh, all the uh, custom fields that are having the type of text and if I remove this keep it as text tap on the filter button and this displays the complete list basically if I have not entered the custom field name then uh, all of the custom fields having the type uh, text would be displayed similarly we can choose uh, like date we can filter out the custom fields so here we have the type date as well and from here also the admin can uh, edit any of the created custom fields by tapping here on the edit button and that brings up the section and uh, now you can make it as required or you can add more customer groups or remove groups and you can also change the type as well or the custom field name so after this uh, under the open card custom field uh, section we've seen how the admin can create the custom fields and uh, so we had created your age uh, as the custom uh, field now uh, let me take you to the other section that's the custom group and here the admin can create multiple customer group and can set up the custom uh, fields for each of the groups so to add a new uh, custom group you just need to tap here on the add new button you can delete it you can uh, filter out the custom groups using the uh, group name price type and the status for the same so if I uh, tap here on the edit button for the group A that brings up the edit page for this particular custom group and here the, the admin can check the status as enabled or disabled set up the uh, custom group name uh, set up the percentage or fixed type that would be charged to the customer the price and here you can choose exactly at which uh, checkout payment step uh, so the checkout uh, at which checkout step would this particular custom uh, field be visible so we can choose from payment address shipping address payment method or the shipping method so uh, let's make it at shipping address and under the custom field here you can enter your custom field that uh, you have created and uh, you can uh, assign that up so for example I've entered your age I can choose that up and I can add multiple custom fields as well for example if I choose custom field text custom field text and now let me tap on the save button all right we have uh, modified the checkout custom groups now let me take you to the front end so now under the uh, checkout custom field here you'll be able to see uh, this option that's the group A if I choose that up that would uh, basically bring up the custom field text and uh, the section for your age so here the customer can enter his age and can tap here in the continue button thereafter and uh, in the last uh, the customer can choose the continue button and here he can see the different uh, amounts that have been applicable uh, to his particular order so that's how the uh, custom uh, fields are visible at the checkout page now let me go to the sales and orders and let's see whether the custom fields are visible within the order uh, orders there so uh, this one let me edit this up 
so under the orders we have all the orders that the customers have placed now let me tap here and from here we can edit or delete the order let me tap on the wave button here to check the complete details of this particular order so here you can see the order details for the order number 8 that we have uh, placed and uh, we had uh, selected the HTC Touch uh, HD and the Mac MacBook initially in this particular video and uh, here you can see the checkout custom fields so the customer had selected the group A uh, within which we had set up the customized message and the group E where we had uh, chosen the custom field as the uh, custom field radio 1 uh, radio button option so uh, from here if we uh, generate the invoice for this particular order these details would then also be visible within the uh, invoice so here on the right hand side you can see the custom uh, fields uh, for the checkout the group A and the group E with the respective custom fields within that so uh, that was much about the open card checkout custom fields and i hope it helped you out in understanding how we can create the checkout custom fields for the checkout and how we can select the different checkout uh, uh what we say sections and set up the custom fields for each of the respective steps for the checkout and uh, the customer workflow as well and uh, if you still have any questions or queries, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvness.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.